In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can complete all the new festive achievements that just have been added with the new Unturned update. Upon completion, each of those four new achievements will then additionally give you one free cosmetic that you will then have forever. These are the four items that you can unlock. There's the festive bandoli, the festive belt, a festive bow, and by far the coolest one, the festive talk that changes its color depending on your hair color in game not your real one. Those items can only be unlocked throughout this year's festive event, so I really suggest anyone to just do them quickly, so you know, you won't regret not doing them in the future. Make sure to share this video with all your friends so they'll know about it as well. I really suggest to do all of these quests in single player as it's way easier and you won't get killed in the process or something, but before further ado, let's jump right into the game so I can show you exactly how they work step by step. And the very first achievement we'll be doing is on the PEI map. There you have to move to the Taylor Beach and where you'll find a bunch of little snowmen and one big one. So you have to go to these little snowmen and yoink this guy's carrot. On the floor you will then see lines that show you the order in which you have to then remove all the other carrots one by one. Once you're done with that, a gift will appear in the middle. Destroy the gift to get a snow shovel. This shovel is very important and it's the only tool that you can mine those little snow hills with. These little hill thingies give you snowballs and in total you will need 12 of them to build the big snowman. Adding to that you'll also need 10 metal, 3 for his buttons and 7 for his face, then 2 pine locks for his arms and at the very end you need one carrot for the nose of course. You'll then unlock your very first achievement and another gift will spawn right in front of you. The gift will include a saw which is by the way something that you get on all the other maps that I'm going to show you today and on all of those maps there's going to be candy canes across the map that you can then farm using that saw, only using that saw, to then collect the candy cane fragments which you use to craft some cute festive decor to make your base extra cozy. And for the second achievement, we will head to Washington. And for this achievement, you are required to power the big star that is located on top of the Seattle Tower. So on the bottom of the tower, you will see a generator and something else next to it. And this something else requires two chemicals, four metal scraps and five ice crystals. So you may wonder what the ice crystals are and how you get them, uh, sure. You know, I'll tell you. For them you need a pickaxe that you can find in the construction locations and around and across all of Seattle you can find those little ice thingies that upon mining you get one crystal each and once you have mined five of them you have five crystals and this is all you need. So then you go back to that thingy, uh, put all the three ingredients in and then pick up the battery cells to put them in a the generator right next to it and that generator will then power the star but yeah that's all you gotta do you have unlocked your second achievement your second item and once again a gift will spawn in front of you with the saw that you can then use to farm candy canes for the third achievement we are heading to russia uh, in russia you simply go to the liberate uh, safe zone to then talk to the chef roman the chef roman will ask you to bake some gingerbread cookies for him and this quest will actually not only give you the achievement and the cosmetic item but also the arctic alice pack in game which you can only get one time per server um as far as i know doing this exact quest so you accept that quest and pick up the flower right in front of you on the counter you then have to add it into the bowl together with one chocolate bar which you can either find on the map or buy off the second chef which costs you 50 xp and once that is done you'll also need some eggs which you unfortunately cannot buy of him so you have to find them and once you have the eggs ready you put everything together in the bowl and mix it put them on the tray right next to you pick up the tray place it into the left oven, wait a few seconds for them to get ready, and then place the tray on the counter again and finally pick up the gingerbread cookies. Then eat some of the cookies and you'll have unlocked the third achievement and the Arctic Alice pack in game. And for the last one, we will have to move to the best map in Unturned history, Yukon. And this is also by far the easiest one, by the way, um, since all you gotta do is you have to find uh, the crashed Santa sleigh, which is located right here on the map. And in the back, you'll find exactly four gifts that you will then have to take and deliver them in the following buildings in Whitehorse, which is the town right next to it. So the first one goes into the donut store, the second one in the police store, third one in the fire station, and last but not least, in the middle of the ice hockey field. Once you have delivered all of those gifts, you then move back to Santa's sleigh and pick up the smaller gift, which will then give you a whole set of Arctic ghillie clothing 
and the achievement of course on top. And I think you can already tell what's going to be in the second gift but for those that for some reason won't be able to figure out you know, it's a surprise. Doing all of these four achievements will then unlock you all the special cosmetic items. If you didn't immediately get them, just restart your game and then they should all be in your inventory. Yo, what's up guys? P9 here. Really quick, I am editing the video right now and I saw that there has also been four new skins that were released. Uh, these are all the four new skins. Um, it's the uh, Knitted, uh, from the Knitted skin collection. Uh, they look okay. They look decent. They're not the best, but I'll probably buy them anyways because I just buy everything. And uh, also, uh, Nelson actually uh, managed to break the game once again. You know, um, a video to that would probably follow in the next couple of days. And uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. Yo, um, really quick, part two. Um, there's also a achievement called uh, something with Benson, honorary Benson or something. This achievement you get by completing all the Elva quests, like literally every single Elva quest and you get it. Uh, you also get a new achievement when you just enter Elva. So in total there were six new achievements, uh, four of them were festive and these two uh, were just additional ones, like I said, on Elva. If you guys did enjoy this video and found it helpful, show it by leaving a like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Tomorrow around 5pm GMT, the British time in it, I'll be opening 1000. 1000 festive gift boxes in a live stream on twitch.tv slash p9nda alternatively i will also announce it in my discord so make sure to head over there and check it out and please don't ask me why i bought a thousand of those i'd still be doing a video on it also if you see this video right now which you do i've just relaunched my unturn off service with loads of cool new features and over 100 new guns today if you would like to check them out you can find the ip to them in the description below thank you everyone for watching this video i wish you all some great festive days use them to spend some time with your family and loved ones and just enjoy your time and i'll see you in the next video bye dude oh my god dude. <gasps> what <laughs> what <laughs> Nelson being generous. Christmas literally just out here destroying the balance of unturned.